Hey guys, Larios here. I'm finally back with a new unboxing and finally it is the Bay Battle Pass. I've been waiting a year for this thing to arrive. I'm not exaggerating. I pre-ordered all of the initial Beyblade X stuff from the Takratomi version of it last year in 2023 as soon as pre-orders were available. And everything arrived except for this stupid thing. So it literally has taken one year for my Bay Battle Pass to arrive. And I'm not the only one who's been waiting on his... Um, uh, my friend T-Flame, uh, who is another Bay YouTuber as well, he's been waiting a year for his. In fact, he got his like a day or two before I even got mine. Um, so it's really messed up. That it took this long for the Bay Battle Pass to arrive. I bought this from Mall of Toys and I usually buy from them a lot and also from Beyblade Premier. Um, but for some reason Mall of Toys just would not ship these and they and I've been emailing them for many many months asking what is the update and they're like oh it's going to be released next month it's going to be released next month oh it'll be out in a few weeks and then they just you know it was like that for like three four five months and then in december they started saying oh we're we're gonna release it soon we just don't know when it's gonna be out um so yeah i pre-ordered this in like June or July of 2023 and right now it's July 3rd happy 4th of July for everyone in the US um so yeah this literally arrived today and I'm just shocked by how long it took now I've commented a lot about this on the WBO and online and a lot of people are saying the reason why the Bay Battle Pass is taking so long is because it is for the Asia market rather than the Japan market because a lot of people already had the Bay Battle Pass for many, many, many months for now. But all of those were Takra Tomi Japan exclusive region uh, products, not the Takra Tomi Asia market products. And we'll get into that a little bit more later in the video. For right now, let's just jump straight into the unboxing. So we finally got the Bay Battle Pass, and I'm just so excited for it. So, um, as you can see, it can attach there. It goes on with an app, which we'll talk about in a bit. And it does look like it is the Asia market, because it's got that uh, sticker over there underneath this green one. And then we've got the Beyblade X app. So finally, now I can use my codes. All right. Cool, and then there's nothing here in the bottom. All right. Finally, the Bay Battle Pass is here. Um, ironically, I just bought a uh, Cobalt Drake uh, on eBay for like $130 because this was not here. And as soon as I buy it, um, so for me to try my chances in getting a Cobo Drake, they announced this and released, or they released this, finally. Uh, but at the same time, it was right after they announced that for Cobo Drake in the Asian market app, it's not um, a lottery. So that, you know, like you, you still got to get the ticket and then a ticket with the ticket you are able to claim for Cabo Drake and then, you know, place the order for it. So, hey, at least if I get another Cabo Drake, I can actually use that because I really don't know if Hasbro is going to be releasing one. Um, and I'm unboxing this after all of my Hasbro unboxings, but I'm releasing this way before all of those just because... This is, I've been waiting a year for this, so, um, just a slight w spoiler, um, I'm gonna be on vacation for about a, a month, and I leave in two weeks, so I recorded all of my Hasbro unboxings and a couple of other unboxings, and I'm gonna be releasing those, um, as I'm out, 
So yeah, you guys are going to get those a little bit late, but there's a couple of videos, including my Cabo Drake unboxing, which I'm actually going to be unboxing after this video, but releasing it much later. So um, let's just take a look at this over here. All right, so this is just explaining how the app works. So now I'm going to have to make a Asian account on Google Play to download this thing. It's almost 1 a.m. right now. It's been a very, very stressful long day. So I'm going to worry about this when I come back from celebrating 4th of July tomorrow. Um, so yeah, so th that explains that. Uh, not bad. So it, it kind of details everything over here. Obviously, we're most likely not going to be getting uh, this from Hasbro. If they actually do make it, I'm going to be super surprised because they didn't even bother making the Bay Pointer from the Metal Saga or even the um, Bay Logger from the Burst Saga. Uh, and this actually looks basically identical to the Bay Logger. Now, um, the I, I would take it out to compare it, but we actually just moved and all of my old gen Beyblade stuff, so plastic, metal fight, and burst, I had to keep it in boxes in the basement because it does not fit in my new room. So because my ro new room is a lot smaller, so I'm just keeping the Beyblade X stuff out. Um, and even though I'm releasing this before all of the videos I already recorded for X, uh, Hasbro X, you are going to see in one of those videos a trigger, like a, a plastic gen trigger. The reason for that was because that was not yet put on the... Um, on the storage so but now it is so but yeah right now i'm just excited for this battle pass i'm just sorry i can't really compare with the bay logger from Beyblade burst just because i don't have those right now as they are currently in storage so right away this feels super like hollow i don't really like how it feels it definitely does have the same hollowness as the ripcord launchers um, and also the same plastic and metal overall, but I'll get used to it. But eh, it's all right. So um, I don't think there's no, nope, no batteries included. Of course, I'm going to pause this and add batteries in here. But what, so yeah, there's a button here. We're not going to figure out what it does today. Um, this is mostly just the unboxing. But this particular flap here, you can open it. There we go. And remove this. And it's just a piece of paper. So you can definitely customize this. There was a lot for the bay loggers from Beyblade Burst. All right, and this here is a button, which interestingly enough, oh right, this is how it connects. So all of the uh, launchers have this little thing here, and it connects here with this button, and this this particular sensor right over here is gonna con not connect but scan this part over here that is changing colors as i pull the ripcord to gauge the speed so pretty cool overall um, let me just put on batteries on this real quick all right we got batteries in here and now okay there we go so not bad I don't want to like mess with it just yet but all right so I should probably do this properly putting it on the string launcher and it's pretty easy you just attach it on the side and then 
Oh, now this is not. What? Oh, hold on. Okay, I've got no idea why this is not closing. <laughs> One moment. All right, I'm sorry. It's been a very long day, like I said. So basically, it's actually a lot simpler than I thought. You just get the bay pass, just hold it down there, fold this down, and I thought that this was supposed to be like flesh with here, but nope, it's just, you just click it down, and then it sticks out like that. Same thing over here, and then it stays snug. It's just a little long, like, I think that the launcher needs to be maybe just a little bit longer over here because it rubs up right there. But since I normally launch it like this anyway, it's not an issue. But not bad. So that's how it looks like with a string launcher. That's, well, I guess you can't remove the launcher with it because it blocks it. So let's just remove this here. Okay. Then if you want to see it without the launcher, without the grip, it's like that. Putting the grip sideways, which I don't go like this, but it actually looks pretty cool like this. And for those that are left-handed, just attaches like this. Now let's just also see how it is going to look on a regular record launcher, which is not latching on. Interesting. So I guess for the ripcord launcher it's this way. And this is honestly a lot better to hold this ripcord launcher. To be honest, it's like it becomes like a mini grip. I mean, your fingers are definitely going to be hitting the ripcord, but it, it definitely helps a lot more. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then if we attach it to here, just so you guys can see the different configurations. Pretty cool. This actually looks really cool like this. And for those that are left-handed, whoops, sorry. Ah, it's sliding. Okay. Well, you guys get the idea. Wait, that's why it's not sticking. There we go, like that. And just for a little bit of different color, this is how it's gonna look. I'm not gonna go through the different configurations for this, um, for the uh, these two sections, but that's how it looks with a different colored ripcord or uh, string launcher. And then this is how it's going to look for a different colored ripcord launcher. There you go. And this works pretty well, honestly. I just think maybe the grip doesn't work with this color scheme uh, or like the grip color but yeah it works pretty well honestly so i just really got to do one test launch with it on and yeah i'm just so glad that this thing is finally here it took a year and i just don't think that hasbro is gonna actually release this so of course we're gonna go with drawn sword Okay, so that lights up. I guess then we hit that, but... Alright, 3, 2, 1, let it rip. And 
going back to the stove. Cool. Alright, so I'm just glad that we finally have this thing. Um, Hasbro is probably not going to release this. And now it allows me to finally use the codes. Now, the codes, the Beyblade Axe Asian market app has been out for a while now, but we couldn't really do anything because a lot of people did not have the battle pass. Now we do. So basically that now means that we can scan the Asian market codes because they're exclusive to the Asian market app. And yeah, then we can uh, use this for that. It's really convoluted how they did this. I talked about this in my uh, Beginner's Guide to Beyblade X, so definitely watch it. The link for that is in the description below. But this is finally here. So I can finally scan those codes, finally have my digital bay locker, and finally, uh, you know, use the, the functionality with it. Um, so I'm just so excited. I still wish Hasbro will release this, but I really doubt that they will. But I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you've got yours already or if you had to wait a year for it like me and my friend did. Um, but yes, let me know what you guys think about this. Rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day, everyone.